Welcome to the Use Hand and Power Tools e-learning module. Using hand and power tools is an essential part of many work tasks. This training will help you to understand your safety obligations. Plan and prepare to use hand and power tools. Select, inspect and use hand tools. Follow site housekeeping procedures. Complete written records and reports. This training resource is a guide only. Always follow your site procedures when performing your work. As a worker you must ensure the safety and health of yourself and others and protect the environment in which you work. Click on the buttons for information about your worker obligations. Before starting work, make sure you have all the necessary information and resources to do the job safely and efficiently, in a timely manner. Click on the buttons for more information. Use your site's hazard ID tool e.g. Take 5 and JSA to identify, manage and report hazards, risks and control measures. Hazards are controlled according to a hierarchy of controls. Click on the buttons to learn more. Your equipment must be suitable for the task. This includes consideration for the materials associated with equipment use, and the conditions. Never substitute one tool for another. For example, do not use an axe as a hammer, or a screwdriver as a chisel. Regular inspections will identify defects at an early stage, before they become a significant problem that may cause injury or equipment, environmental damage. Carry out inspections before using tools. Isolate any defective equipment and attach an out-of-service tag to the item. Report all damaged, defective equipment according to procedures. Make sure the equipment has been tested and tagged. Use tools in a safe manner within the limits recommended by the manufacturer. Clean tools immediately after use, before storage. Wipe off moisture and accumulated dirt or other material. Inspect equipment and tag out any damaged or faulty items. Stow hand tools properly, ensuring that sharp metal cutting edges are suitably guarded. Many hand tools operate on the principle of mechanical advantage through leverage. This means the longer the lever handle, the greater the applied force or torque. Selecting the correct hand tool for the job is vital for productivity, tool life and safety. Follow these basic safety precautions when using hand tools. Wear appropriate PPE. Check that the tool and attachments are in good condition. Know the capability and limitation of the tool. Keep your work area clear of rubbish or other obstacles. Never overreach or apply excessive force using hand tools. If required, firmly clamp or fix any work material in position before using the hand tool on it. Keep handles free of moisture and grease. Check that the material you are using the hand tool on is not situated in front of or near power or service lines. Follow site procedures and manufacturer instructions when using hand tools. Click each button for a general guideline for using tools. The versatility and efficiency of power-assisted tools makes them the preferred choice for many work applications. The speed at which power tools operate gives them an advantage over hand tools. Correct selection, use and inspection of power tools is an important part of your work on site. Power can be supplied by a variety of means. Each power source has its own advantages and safety requirements. Click each of the power sources to the right to find out more. Regardless of the tool being used, there are some basic safety rules that must be followed when using power tools. Select and use the correct tool for the job. Use appropriate PPE. Do not wear loose-fitting clothes and keep long hair tied back. Check leads, hoses and connections for security and damage. Check safety guards are in place and secure. Check blades, bits and attachments for sharpness and security. Isolate the equipment before changing attachments or make adjustments. Secure the material you are working with in place by clamps or in a vise, if required. Hold the tool firmly, using designated hand grips. Keep leads and cords untangled, and away from the working head of the tool. Always check the path of the tool for hidden electrical wires, water pipes or obstacles. Start the tool with the blade or bit free of the material being worked to avoid kickback. Never force the tool. Let the tool do the work. Never use power tools while under the influence of alcohol, drugs or medication. Ensure that the emergency stop button works. Clean and store tools correctly on completion of the job. Follow site procedures and manufacturer instructions when using power tools. Click each button for a general guideline for using tools. When the job is finished, there are tasks that you must do to complete your work. Your post-operational tasks may include Checking that the work complies with the planned work outcomes and task requirements. Disposing of, or recycling, waste materials. 
cleaning, maintaining and storing tools and equipment, performing housekeeping tasks, completing end of shift reports and records, attending a shift handover meeting with the next operator if required. Click on the buttons for more information. Work sites are required to have an emergency management plan that details the responsibilities of management, supervisors and all personnel in the event of an incident. The plan outlines response procedures and the overall response plan. Refer to site procedures and the emergency management plan when responding to hazardous and emergency situations. The buttons to the right provide some general emergency response information. There will now be a short quiz to test your understanding of this module. You can substitute any tool for a task, as long as it gets the job done. Select true or false. Why is it important to know the equipment characteristics and technical capabilities of the tools you are using? Select all that apply. What information would you use to help select the right tool for the task? Select all that apply. Mechanical advantage through leverage means that a tool with a longer handle will achieve greater torque with less effort. Why is it important to know and use industry and site terminology? Select all that apply. What should you do if the hand tool you are about to use is damaged? Select all that apply. Which of the following tools would you use to lever a rock out of the ground? Which of the following tools would you use to create a flat, consistent surface on timber? Which of the following can be used to power a power tool? Select all that apply. Safety data sheets contain information that can help minimize the risks associated with using hazardous chemicals. Select true or false. You must get 100% to pass this module. Please retry the assessment.